Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Lorraine 155mm50. It's the tier 7 French SPG. We're on the uh, northeast spawn of Outpost. And this one is under the command of 15JG52 by Raktar. And that's it. Game's underway. 155mm howitzer, capable of 630 output, penetrating 14mm of armour and we can see that uh, 15 JG-52 has actually decided to carry nothing but HG with stun because it does have the good effect of actually getting assist. 23.14 uh, seconds is his uh, reload time and the standard reload is 28.57 so he's actually dropped that by at least is it 27? No, 28.57. Sorry, uh, five seconds drop in reload time. Okay, now as you know, he's got this habit of firing and then looking away immediately. He didn't on this occasion. Surprisingly, he actually killed me there. But you can see that that M10 of um, that M10 Panther actually did manage to get away with uh, quite a lot before he got taken out. Okay, we're almost reloaded. Okay, rounds out. He did look away, but look at that. He hit two tanks with one shot. He hit the 45 TP and the Iron Army, the new tank that's just come in in the loot boxes. Yes, it's Arnie's version of the tank. He actually owns one of those. I think it's um, a pattern of some sort. Okay, well he's loaded again, rounds out. Oh, perfect! Absolutely perfect! He killed the 45 TP, but he damaged the Jetto 54 at the same time, and he stunned a lot of them all at once. Superb shooting. He's just selecting which one he wants next. I'm holding it on for the moment. As you know, Aslan starts throwing the... Uh, the battle assistant top a slight amount of course it's a problem where it goes in and out but i'm what i'm trying to do is trying to make it look as as good as it can given that it has that effect upon the uh, battle assistant now he's selected the smb cc67 for his next one rounds out oh now rng was cruel there that one went long and landed well behind well we do have an is2 coming up behind these guys and they're about to get a very nasty shot from one of our teammates. Oh no, Iron Arnie spotted it. <laughs> In fact, the IS-2 took a big hit from Iron Arnie, but he has decided, yeah, he's going to focus on that guy. But if he does cross that gap, I rather think that 15JG is going to get a shot at him. Instead, he puts it on the Brigetto and stuns them. He's actually earned more stun assists so far in this game than he has actual damage. 1,765, a very respectable score. And yeah, the Pajetto's trying to get a shot on IS2. And there goes Iron Army. Okay, he's ready to go. Rounds out the SMB. Who pulls back, so he obviously had warning that a shell was coming. We only tracked him. But that Pajetto is now one shot. And if he stays where he is, he is going to go down. Because 15JG52 is going to put a round into him. Oh no, he doesn't have to. The Progetto's out. And now we're going for the CSMB CC67. More damage. Keeps the guy tracked in place. And here comes the IS2 and the AT15A. And now he's about to get a... Yes, I was going to say it was either a colostomy. Or he was going to get uh, a uh, rather... Um, rather nasty uh, examination a proctology <laughs> examination oh and i missed that so i'm gonna have to run that back because i was watching what was going on and making a joke at the time and i shouldn't have done that that was my mistake okay the smb cc goes down you can see everyone changes direction and now we're aiming towards the, the north end going for an on only Line up the shot, round south. Oh, we got a kill shot! 231 hit points. It hit exactly the right spot. Probably hit one of the boobies. And yes, if you get hit with the boobies, especially the Madonna with the fallen big boobies, 
I think that's a reference to, uh, you know, uh, um, a certain uh, comedy show. Yes, it's Allo Allo, by the way, <laughs> the comedy show, which I think is very popular in other countries, actually. Yes, they had a painting of the fallen Madonna with the big boobies, and they kept on making it a joke. This course, a, you know, childish joke. But uh, the thing about the Oni is that they do have those uh, boobies right on the front, which actually make it fairly easy to do damage to them. Well, there's only two enemies left, so 15 JGs decided he's going to manoeuvre and use his W key, because he hasn't been using it that much this game, but he's decided he's going to go to the other end of the map. <laughs> He's going to drive there. It's a country holiday. There's only one enemy left. It's not going to be alive for very much longer. And he decided he was going to see some scenery. And they're about to cap out as well. Oh dear. Stop capping! And they've capped. Oh dear, that was a waste. Well, at least he got to see a bit of the countryside. Well, that was an interesting game for 15JG52 Baraktar because he was getting some wonderful shots on the enemy tanks at the other end of that road. And that's why, well, he got so much stun assist that he ended up with an ace tanker out of that game, as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got eight in total. And yes, he certainly did punish the enemy. His win eight in that game was 2,900, which is not a high amount, but it's still a Unicum standard, so very well done indeed. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, we can see the highest damage in the game actually went to the Kampanzer, uh, so no, sorry, Kanonen Jagdpanzer 105, who managed 2,704 hit points of damage. The second highest damage went to the enemy IS-5 with 2,309, and the third highest damage in this one went to the Striv S1 with 2,243. And we can see that uh, 15JG52 Brarao by Raktar, sorry, long name, uh, actually managed to get 1,834 in the Lorraine 15550. When it came to kills, he was a little better off because uh, he actually came in joint third. The top scorer was the Lerva, got four kills. Three kills went to the Colonial Jagdpanzer and two kills went to... Uh, Barawa, uh, also to the SU-101 and to the Oni on the enemy team who he killed. And uh, we can see also there were a few other players like um, this one. Not sure what he was, but he got a cool headed out of it anyway. <laughs> yes, I know. Terrible. There's a player in there and I don't know what he was driving, but they haven't updated the um, record sites yet. So until they do, I'm afraid we're going to get a few question marks uh, against people's names. Anyway, when it came to base XP, because he got so much stun assist in that game, he got the top score in that one. 1,211 went to Barra, uh, 1,073 went to the Object 274A, and the next highest score was the Lerva with 886. He fired 10 rounds in the entire game, got 5 direct hits on the enemy, no penetrations, but 19 splashes. 10 rounds, 19 splashes. He was really making those shells work. In fact, he was hitting two tanks at the same time on most of those shots. 1,834 hit points of damage, all of it done at more than 300 meters. He damaged six of the enemy, killed two, and did 317 hit points of damage assistance and 3,167 hit points of stun assist of 17 stuns and that's an incredible amount you look at it and you say hang on a sec that's nearly double the amount of stun that um of the amount of actual damage well not quite double but close um uh, it's nearly double um the amount of damage that he actually did so that's why he got the ace tanker you see if we don't have stun on our shells then we're not going to be able to get ace tankers at all and of course this is why wargaming were very unfair to us to actually remove a certain amount of stun off the tanks that were actually doing stun as well as um, to try and beef up the damage that was done by armor piercing and the extra HE because of course they don't penetrate not all the time only occasionally do they work but uh, most of the time they don't and uh, so 
unfortunately it's just unfair to actually give somebody a shell that's say 24 centimeters in caliber but it does less damage than a 155 millimeter shell fired from a tank which is ridiculous because of course the 24 centimeter shell is just going to carve a gigantic hole in whatever tank it hits even if it's only moving slightly faster or slightly slower rather than the tank shell anyway he calls those 17 stuns he got 64,550 credits for the game 91,937 from mission completion or from holiday ops rather and so that's a big bonus so he must have got a, a fully stocked garage already and or fully stocked uh, village already i should say 156,487 for the battle and after resupply of ammunition consumables took away 136,487 credits profit 1,816 uh, experience points times two for the first victory took away 3,633 experience points altogether he says cunning stunts or stunning yes <laughs> naughty boy he's almost tried to get me to say something I shouldn't have said but since I was talking about Madonna's with fallen boobies I think yeah yes I was already along that line at the same time anyway it's late in the morning um it's actually now well some people might call it early in the morning because i've actually been working all night and uh, i've just completed my 50th video of the day <laughs> a ridiculous amount but that was a fun battle and a nice one so thanks very much for sending it in brow by Raktar. if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching.